Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Power BI for Sports. Today we're going to be looking at how to create an acute chronic workload ratio graph using Power BI that's going to allow you uh, to view the acute load and the chronic load and it's going to give you uh, the result of the calculation of the acute chronic ratio. Using our slicers we're going to be able to select different ranges of dates as well as different players so you can have that all in the same uh, dashboard you just have to select your player and select your range of dates and that's going to give you the acute and chronic calculation uh, of a selected metric so stay tuned so before anything else i just want to give a couple of quick words on the acute chronic workload ratio does it really work Currently, there is a lot of research out there that examines the validity and reliability of the acute chronic workload ratio method. Some of these studies uh, support the theory and they claim that the acute chronic ratio can be used to predict injury, and the results have found positive correlation with injury risk. However, the other group of research actually questions the validity of this method and have found that there is mathematical problems with the calculation itself. And there's also too many factors in injury risk assessment for this to apply to real life. So the validity of this method has been extensively questioned and it's important to keep that in mind. Again, the importance of thorough research before implementing this in your club setting so that you're actually making sure that you're applying the correct method. And finally, just a couple more things is that from personal experience working with clients, some of them th found it useful to quantify and visualize abrupt changes in workload. So obviously, one of the main principles of training is a progressive overload. So I think they found it to be useful to quantify this method. Also, some of them believe that it is reflective of the athlete's progress and physical status. So they use it more as a visual aid. If you've already made up your mind and you apply this in your club setting, stay in tune and let's have a look at how to apply the acute chronic ratio using Power BI. So for this, we're going to be using our Excel database that is going to contain a data dump of all of our GPS sessions of training and match. If you want to know how to create a database like this one, make sure you follow this video so that you know how to create the best way of making a GPS database in order to link it to Power BI. So go ahead and open your Power BI dashboard and import the data dump file into the data fields here. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to calculate our acute uh, ratio and separately we're going to calculate the chronic ratio. So as you know, the acute takes the rolling average of the last 7 days and the chronic takes the rolling average of the last 28 days. If you use a different calculation, feel free to apply it here, but for this example I'm going to use 7 and 28. So let's go ahead and create our uh, acute measure. So we'll just select the calculator icon and select new measure. And it's important to note that before you create the measure, you have to know what metric you're going to use. So you can only create one measure for one specific metric. So if you want to use multiple metrics, you're going to have to create multiple measures. In this example, I'm going to uh, create the measure using the total distance metric. So edit the title if you wish. I'm going to call this acute total distance. And we're going to input the following uh, formula. So the first thing would be to use the calculate function and I like to hold shift and enter so it uh, takes me to the next line so that it's just nice and clear so that's just shift and enter for the next line and then select the sum function open brackets and we're going to select uh, the name of our metric so in this case as I mentioned mine is going to be total distance So you're going to find that as, uh, first you're going to see the name of the table, data dump, which is just this table that I have right here. And then in square brackets, you'll find the name of the metrics, total distance. So I'm going to select uh, my total distance metric, and I'm going to close that bracket. So close brackets and put a comma. Shift and enter onto the next line, and in here I'm going to apply the dates and period function so that it searches for the specific uh, range of dates that I, that I want to use for my calculation. Open the brackets and you're going to select session date 
uh, this session date, this is just the name of the column where you have your session dates uh, information. So in my data tom, I have one column with the title session date, which is where I have all the dates in a date format of each one of my sessions. So whatever you have it named in your database, look it up and search for the session date column. Select that and then type in a comma, space and select the last date function. And inside my last date function, we're going to select one more time the session date column. Close the brackets, and now you're going to type in a comma, type in minus seven, because I want the last date to be the last seven days. So this is because I'm doing the acute calculation, I'm going to use seven days. If you're using a different uh, number of days, this is where you would type it in. Then put one more comma and select day. So double close that bracket and that's going to be created a, the sum of the last seven days of my session date column. So the last touch I need to put into this formula is divide everything by seven. So now that I have the sum of the last seven days, all I need to do to create the acute rolling average is divide all that by the number seven. And then I just hit enter. So now if you scroll down, you will find the, the name of your measure right here in, in your data fields. So if I click on that, I can check that my measure is successfully added into my database. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this exact formula. I'm going to uh, copy it, and I'm just gonna make a few modifications to get my chronic measure. So select the whole thing, copy that, and uh, let's go ahead and create a new measure. This one is going to be our chronic measure of the total distance. So just go ahead and paste that into, into the, the data field. Delete the title so you only have your original title. And now the only couple of differences that we need to make uh, in this new calculation is the, the number seven. So instead of having the, the calculation of the last seven days, we're going to use the last 28 days. And then again at the end, instead of dividing by seven, you're going to divide that by 28 because my chronic measure is going to use the last 28 days. And then just, uh, just hit enter. Perfect, so now you have your acute total distance and you also have your chronic total distance. So now finally the last step is just to create the acute chronic uh, workload ratio. So we're going to collect a new measure. And this is the probably the most simple of all the calculations, we're just going to call this acute chronic worker ratio of total distance. And this is simply uh, take the acute load and divide that by the chronic load and enter. And there you go. So now you have your acute, your chronic and your acute chronic workload ratio. So now let's have a look of how to input this in our dashboard so we can create a nice visualization of our acute chronic ratio load. So we'll open up a new page in your Power BI dashboard and the first thing that we're going to, to input into our dashboard is going to be a slicer. So this slicer is going to contain our player name. So as you know, the acute chronic workload ratio can be done uh, for one player at a time. We're going to import that, player, that slicer containing our player names and ideally you want to make that as a drop down list so that it's nice and easy to select just one player at a time. Next we're going to select another slicer and this time this one's going to contain the session date. So this way you have a nice uh, between date slicer that's going to allow you to select what range of dates you want to apply to your dashboard, so that's where it's going to calculate the ratio from. So once you have both of those, the next thing we're going to input here is going to be a, an area chart. 
So you have the option of doing either an area chart or a line chart. I think for, for this purpose, I like better the area chart because it better represents my data, but it's completely up to you. And in here, we're going to input the, the three measures that we just created today. We're going to input our acute total distance, our chronic total distance, and the acute chronic ratio. And we're going to leave acute and chronic in the values box. <clears throat> and we're going to move the acute chronic ratio as a secondary value. Finally, most importantly, you're going to drag your session date. I'm going to put it in the access box. Now it's important that the session date, you have to click on the arrow and instead of putting it as a date hierarchy, you have to put a select a, to show it as the actual session date. And finally, if you go to format and select X axis, you can change the type of axis that it is and it's important that you change it from continuous to categorical. So that's gonna allow you to, to view uh, exactly which data point belongs to which date. And using our session date slicer, we can just uh, uh, move across the date range that we want to use, and that's going to be our calculation. So now we just have to make a few more changes to this graph so that it displays a, a nice and clear information to us. So the first thing uh, is to click on format, uh, click on data colors, and we're going to make our acute chronic workload ratio uh, area disappear. So just change that color to white or uh, whatever color you have in the background of your of your dashboard. And then we're going to come a bit lower and select shapes. And we're going to select customize series and toggle that on. So the way this works is that we're going to reduce the stroke width to zero. Yeah, and then we're just going to turn it on for our uh, acute total distance and for the chronic total distance. Perfect, so now you can see that uh, it's nice and clear on the, the chronic total distance is here and the, the, acute chronic, uh, the acute total distance is also here, but we just make the acute chronic ratio just visually disappear. However, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the data labels just for the acute chronic ratio. So if you scroll a little bit down and select customize series, and for my acute total distance, I'm going to toggle that off, and also for my chronic total distance. So this way, I'm only looking at um, the lines of my acute and chronic, but the actual values represent the acute chronic workload ratio calculation. And then uh, just as an option for you, you can even change the data colors. Maybe you want the acute in blue and the chronic might be more suitable in the, a bit of a red color perhaps. Just completely up to you. Make sure you just customize it so that you're happy with how you're looking at the data. And then finally, you can make some uh, final touches on this just to make it look nice and clear. So uh, you can come to the, to the Y and X axis and toggle off the title. Uh, don't need that there. Same thing for my X axis. You can just scroll down and turn off the title. Uh, you can even take your legend off uh, in case you don't need it or if you want to just have it there to make sure what color represents the acute and chronic, can do as well. And then maybe customize your title so that you display only acute chronic ratio. So uh, just feel free to customize that in whatever way you need. You can even, uh, perhaps you want to uh, increase a little bit the, the size of the data label. So if you just come here and increase that a little bit so it's nice and clear on the number of the ratio. And that's it. Now you can just actually just use in all of your slicers, you can select a uh, different data range. So if you can just want to come to a specific week, you can do. Uh, you can even just select here in the data, select a specific range of dates and make sure that you just uh, are viewing the data that you want. And the same thing using the, the player slicer so that you can view 
a given player. Um, so whatever player you select, you can see now how the data is changing because uh, obviously it's different for each player. And that's it. That's it for today. Uh, this is how you successfully make uh, an acute chronic workload ratio using Power BI. You can feel free to customize it to whatever metric that you want to use. In this case, it's total distance. You can feel free to use whatever metric you think suits best. And feel free to play around with the colors and the type of lines and type of graphs so that you make it look nice and clear for your report. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment under, uh, under this video or send me a direct message in Twitter. And any questions, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.